What's up guys, Viv here with another Quest for Legendary video, this time about Powerful Blood. Now compared to uh, Armored Scales, uh, Powerful Blood doesn't have any real super awesome farming spot that I've seen. Uh, the only level 80 enemies that I know of that drop Powerful Blood directly are these Karka here in the South Sun Cove in between the Point Lion and Point Pride. At least that's the only like easily farmable level 80 enemy. I mean, like vampire bats and fractals of the mist, for instance, drop powerful blood, other stuff like that. But uh, there's just not like a lot of places where you can actively farm tons of enemies that drop powerful blood. Now these Karka are actually kind of, they take too long to kill and it's too much hassle because you have to dodge these like bursty moves all the time. Um, and on top of that, the drop rate on the Karka for uh, Powerful Blood doesn't even really seem to be that high, uh, nor does the drop rate for Potent Blood. So what I decided to do is try to just find an enemy that drops tons of Potent Blood. That way I could just transmute the Potent Blood and turn it into Powerful Blood. Um, so I found this place in Frost Scourge Sound. Uh, there's these minotaurs that drop tons of potent blood, like tons. You can get like 50 every 30 minutes or something ridiculous like that. Like they just drop it constantly. So um, what you do is you just come here. I started out killing them just one at a time and then quickly realized that they do pretty much no damage, uh, which is another benefit compared to Karkos. Uh, so I started adopting the pull everything and AoE strategy. And when you start doing that, you get like two or three every pool um, and you're just killing them constantly so after you get a bunch of powerful blood I ended up with like a hundred something uh, then you go to the mystic forge and the forge recipe is 50 uh, potent blood one powerful blood five crystalline dust and five philosopher stones and uh, you're gonna have to figure out in advance whether it's worth it or not compared to the cost of the materials uh, to sell it or, or transmute it but at the time I made this video, I determined that the cost of the mats uh, meant that I would have to make seven or more powerful blood from the transmute recipe in order to come out ahead. Um, and the recipe yields five to ten, so I figure getting five or six is less likely than getting seven to ten. So I went ahead and did it. And I ended up getting nine and seven for a total of sixteen in an hour. Uh, compared to the Karka, it seems at least on par, considering they also drop potent blood, so you could do this with them as well. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Decide which one you want to do. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.